memories and people from nearly 30 years of covering the race. Now, the hill climb is one of the most historic events in sports in our area. We've had names like Andretti, Unser, and Foyt compete here. But in my opinion, it's the local folks who give the race color and make the race what it is. Names like Bruning, Regester, Wells, and many more. And some of the most colorful characters I've ever met have been here. For many, the hill climb has become sort of a family tradition. And there's one family that knows Pike Speak better than any other. Our final hill climb flashback is sort of a greatest hits package, if you will. Some of the best moments from Leonard and Clint Boschholz from Woodland Park. Winning on Pike Speak has become almost a yearly tradition for Leonard and Clint Boschholz, and Fourth of July celebrations are all part of the plan. We can have a party. I haven't had a drink for two weeks. My liver's going on back lodge. <laughs> fun night in the uh, Boschholz household? Yeah, and you're invited if you want to come. <laughs> Leonard and Clint have always competed in different divisions and don't expect them to go head-to-head -head anytime soon. The reason we don't run the same class is one of us got to lose. I don't like losing. Another day for the record books, the 80th running of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and perhaps a passing of the torch. Once again, Leonard and Clint Boschholz steal the show. Clint and the number 18 Mustang had more than enough for his seventh straight Super Stock Car title, 10th overall title. You combine that with Dad and those 23 overall titles are a new father-son record surpassing Bobby and Robbie Unser. Winning just makes your guys that have been struggling and digging deep for you all week, it, it pays them back to you. A big win pays them back as much as it does us. Hey, what's this about beating me nine seconds, you turkey? <laughs> I don't know about that. You've been beating my ass all week. <laughs> well, for years on race day, we've always called this Unser Mountain. Perhaps now it's time to change that name or at least add a hyphen and call it Unser Vosholtz Mountain. All right, who's the dude with the beard and the glasses? <laughs> that guy. Hey. I think I know him. Now, <laughs> Clinton Leonard have so many titles, we've quit counting, but Leonard retired after the 2008 race. But Clint will be part of the field tomorrow and the favorite to again win the Super Stock Car Division. He's won 13 of the past 14 years. You can see all of our hill climb flashbacks on my blog, LeeDouglasSports.com. The 88th Race to the Cloud goes at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Jordan Mason will be up bright and early. We'll have a full report for us live from the peak tomorrow 